Hasani, nani? Mtoto. Lakini wewe ambaye unatengeneza lactogen na SMA. Unamuzia nani? Okay, kwa yuza wako wewe ni nani? Yuza wako wa SMA na mtoto. Okay, lakini your channel ni nani? Aha. Good. So, tuna user aina mbili. Tuna primary user na tuna secondary user. The thing that we usually do, tukitaka kuanzisha kitu, kutengeneza huduma, kutengeneza bidhaa, tunafikiri tuna mtumiaji mmoja. So ecosystem huwa ina enablers. Ina enablers, ina facilitators na ina regulators. Enable ni mtu ambaye anaiwezesha ecosystem. Yaani yeye ha yani hatekelezi kitu kama UN UN haifanyagi vitu yenyewe kama yenyewe inatumia partners. Kwa hiyo yenyewe ina enable, ina enable ecosystem. Afu some couple yeye yeah, anakuwezesha ana facilitate kwa tofauti kati ya ku enable na ku facilitate. Facilitation anakupa kitendea kazi au anakupa sema yani kama anaku anakupa labda say skill au anakupa labda service fulani au anakupa labda tool fulani ambayo anakufanya sasa wewe kuweza kutekeleza kazi yako au biashara yako au idea yako au huduma yako. Sawa? Lakini pia kuna regulators. Regulators kazi yao ni kukusaidia wewe au kukufanya wewe ufanye kazi kwa utaratibu na kwa mipaka iliyotengenezwa. Iwe ni kwa ajili ya quality control, iwe ni kwa ajili ya vibali, iwe ni kwa ajili ya kukusaidia wewe kufika hatua inayofuata kwa vyote vile. Kwa kama let's say TRA sijui TBS sijui afisa biashara au mashauri wote hao kazi yao ni ku regulate ecosystem. Kwa hiyo kwenye ecosystem apart from kama unakuwa mshajua of uh, users wako wale primary na secondary wote kuna watu ambao wana kuwezesha au wana support au wana usogeza uhusiano wa wewe na users wako lakini wamazunguka. Kwa hiyo What is important is understanding. Yaani the word understanding is so important. So bukisha chora hawa watu wote. What is the next question? Na waunganishaje? Huyu yuko hapa, huyu hapa yuko pale ndoto hapa amekaa. Okay? Mimi Baresa niko zangu wapi Pugu Road? Na mfikiaje mtu aliyoko ndoto hapa pale bila mimi kwenda na magari yangu? Yaani mimi scary responsibility ya kufika ndoto hapa. Mtu mwingine achukue kama yaani kama ndio kitu chake matokeo yake ukishaweza ku understand utaweza kuunganisha hivyo vidoti umeelewa eh so that's what it means by the existing na kuna watu ambao pia wakishaelewa the existing ecosystem wanaibadilisha yote and the best the best partnerships katika kile chuo cha supply au cha logistics au katika the entire production baka kwenye market ni katika ecosystem ni kuunganisha hivi vidoti lakini kila mmoja ajimudu mwenyewe That's what it means by understanding. Na uwezi ku understand bila kuelewa changamoto na fursa za how users wote ni primary ni secondary your entire supply chain your entire production chain also your entire feedback mechanism. Na hizo ili uweze kuelewa ecosystem lazima pia uwe na namna ambavyo wateja wako wanakurudishia wewe feedback. Feedback feedback is painful. Feedback can be good, feedback can be bad. Lakini if you look at feedback in a positive way, but feedback is there to build you. Na ecosystem lazima ukishawajua wote, lazima wote waweze kukurudishia feedback. Fanya unavyofanya, wote kurudishia feedback. That's how you understand something. You cannot understand bila feedback. Please amo na 1000. Lakini leo hii anataka 1000, lakini ha target by December mwaka 2020 awe na pilipili ngapi? 1000 kwa maana vokoroga pilipili ya kwanza au ameshia plan atakapofika pilipili milioni moja production success was your bahati mbaya yani you don't you don't um usemi tu kwamba nataka nifanikiwe nataka nifanikiwe alafu hauna numbers hauna targets haufikiri ndo kwenda wapi usually success nataka iwe kama bahati mbaya yani kama tuwe surprise eh surprise niko successful it cannot happen It cannot surprise you. In surprise can, success cannot surprise you. You have to prepare for it. 
you have a dream. Success is you achieving your dream. Okay? Sio mtu mwingine hiyo kwako. Kama unatamani, unatamani kitu fulani na ningependa kuwa na hiki wewe. You start mapping it out. As your dream, ya kwako wewe. Ikifanikiwa that is your success. Kwa hiyo kwa mfano, unapanga mbali ukienda kuuza mia ukabatika kuuza F10. Kama that's your success, lo define then it's your success that you should work for. But you should plan for it na kufanya hizo hatua mpaka ufike hapo kwenye F10. Lakini sasa kwenye teknolojia ni tofauti. So that works kwa pilipili. Kwenye technology we believe kwamba anything you're doing so long as you're using technology your numbers should be massive. Ndio, hizi principles ninavyosema. Kwa kuwa unatumia teknolojia, maisha yako yamesharaisishwa. Unaweza kufikia watu milioni. Unaweza kufikia watu milioni kumi. Kwa nini usifikie? Kwa hiyo since you're using technology, we want you to think of how you can reach 10 million people, 5 million people, 1 million people. Sisi kwa mfano access yani scale kwa sisi ni numbers. We want to reach kila mwaka watu milioni moja. We want to reach kila mwaka baada watu hii. Kwa hiyo kwa sisi that's our target. Siku ngani mauzunika sijafikia target. Si ngifikia target na kwa hivyo so our target is in numbers. The more people we reach the more we think we are successful.